Hey, we're the Ohio guys on location at Colossal Con in Dusky, Ohio. Today we're joined by Mella Lee. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Good. Uh, what is it like working in the industry today? Um, I think it's hard, but like you feel lucky. You feel very lucky to, to get to work with such amazing people and to get to make a living doing what you love. Uh, what is the favorite anime that you've worked on? A lot of people say it's like picking their favorite baby. Yeah, you can't really pick your favorite baby. I think they're all special. I really enjoyed doing Rose and Maiden. Um, it reminds me, Roald Dahl is a, is a favorite author of mine, and he often writes about young children that have been sort of abandoned and, and what they feel like when they're alone. And whether you've had, you know, my father died when I was a little girl, so it's a theme that's close to my heart. Um, again, in Vampire Night, you, you have the same thing where someone's lost um, her family. Uh, I, I, I was. Uh, Yuki Cross and Vampire Night, Rin and Fate Stay Night. Again, she's lost her father. So there's a recurring theme in those in those stories that I found very close to my heart. And I think everybody feels a little bit abandoned sometimes as you're growing up uh, when you're trying to find yourself and, and who you are. Um, so those are some of my favorites. I love them all because those are what bring me to conventions and fly me all over the world. I feel very grateful. Good. What was it like working on When They Cry? Um, I was over at Warner Brothers. I think I was doing Gilmore Girls at the time, and I got a phone call, and they asked if I wanted to read for a new show, and of course I did. Um, so uh, the place where it's at is only about a mile away from Warner Brothers. And so I came in, and they had me do a scene, and the scene was kind of high-pitched, and those aren't the, the, the stories I usually get cast in. And I thought, well, why am I here? And they said, then could you do the dark one? I wouldn't do that if I were you. And you know, liar, and like the famous scene where it's intense, and and apparently they had hired somebody. And I don't know who it originally was that was adorable, but not scary. And apparently I got scary. And they asked me what I was doing that afternoon. I thought I was going to have to come back to uh, read for producers. And they and I said I'm, I'm open. They said great, take a five minute break. We're going to start today. And the director was fantastic, and it, it was such a stretch for me. And I hadn't, I wasn't familiar with the story. So I was discovering this great plot line just the same time as my fans, and to the culmination of the scene on the roof with the, with the cleaver. I'm pretty proud of it. It's the first time I got to be kind of crazy. <laughs> you could be any of the characters you've played in real life. Who would it be? You can mix and match if you want to. Well, I think we kind of covered some of that. If, if I, um, Shinku and Rose and Maiden is very similar to Rachel Alucard and Blaze Blue. They're, they're a bit prim and proper, and I can relate to that. My mother was British, and, and um, but they're kind of badass. So I'm definitely half my mom, who was prim and proper, and then my dad, who rode a Harley. I'm definitely <laughs> half and half of those. Um, and, and the characters, um, Rin in, in Blade of the Immortal, um, Yuki Cross, Shinku, uh, Rin in Fate Stay Night, all of them have an intelligence about them and a desire to be... I, for lack of a better word, badass. <laughs> um, and I am too. I mean, deep down inside, I'm a girl. I love dresses and skirts and frilly things, but um, I guess it's a candy coating. But I'm, I'm tough underneath. So those are some of my favorite characters, and I think I bring myself to them. Is there anything coming out you can talk about right now, or is there anything that might have recently just come out you want to plug? Um, well, I'm really excited to be in Fate Zero. Um, I was in Final Fantasy fourteen and... I'm not allowed to talk about what might be coming up, um, but there are other games, some of my bigger games that people like, uh, that I happen to be recording right now, so they'll be coming out soon. Okay, no one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, thanks for that. But the, yeah, they're all exciting. Um, we just finished Nura, Rise of the Yokai Clan, um, Fate Zero. Uh, I'm, I had a guest star on Doc McSteffens for Disney Junior, which is exciting. And just being here, very thankful, thanks. You've already touched on it a little bit. Uh, what was it like working on Vampire Night? Um, I think it was another one of those series where I, I, I was very honored to be chosen and I had the feeling as we were doing that um, I liked the theme of, of the difficulties of how do you accept someone with a different value set than you um, without let, losing yourself. And uh, I've not had the opportunity to, to be an adolescent character and mature into a woman and, and I thought the theme for Vampire Night about Yuki had an easier time because she loved both vampires and humans. She could find the good in both of them. And where Kaname had a slight disdain, and so did Zero, um, when Yuki crossed into her transition into becoming a vampire, she 
was still filled with love for herself, but she hadn't started off from a place of hate. And uh, I think her parents knew what they were doing, you know, in the story. It's wonderfully written in that they wanted to make sure she knew what it was like to be human so she'd have a true love for them. And Kahname could do the same. Uh, and just, I've been to London, Australia, New Zealand, and I think the theme of learning how to live with people with very different value sets, it's sort of a universal theme right now. You know, how do you love people that love different things than you do and value different things? Do you have any uh, fan pages on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social medias where the fans can reach you? Um, Mela at melalee.com is the easiest way to email me. I answer all my own emails, so it's M-E-L-A at melalee.com. Um, you can go to melalee.com and get some great news. Um, melalee is my personal Facebook page, and I have a friend, Anissa, um, who is in Australia, who's going to help me this month actually do a fan page uh, on Facebook. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. If you get an invitation, you know, connect and, and then tell me what you guys want. Um, I'm new to a, a Facebook fan page, and so if, if you're missing something that's not on there, um, email Mella at melalee.com, and I'll, I'll add some more pictures or do something that's better for the fans. Okay. We'd like to thank you for joining us today. Oh, you're very welcome. And thank you, guys. Ohio guys made yeah. this great gift for me. I got um, a, a handmade gift and, and a beautiful... Um, necklace from some other fans, and thanks for bringing all those things to me. We're with the Ohio guys on location, and uh, she's Mella, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.